following presentation of the NBA. It's time for the NBA, live on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Hart. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for him. And one thing that has been very consistent for him the last few years, his ability to continue to deliver more and more offense. He's been doing everything that's been asked of. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got the monster. Miracle Man is out there with the kid. Then it's Magician. And it's Tyler in at the four-man position. And for the Wizards, Kemp is out there with Aiton. Then there's Bird. Then it's Johnson. And it's Hero in at the two. Bird with it. What a tremendous game he played against Houston. Inside, Aiton lays it in without an inch of rumor. I love this young man's mindset. When he has the basketball, he's looking to score. That's tipped. Goes back up. He lays it in. Aiton's got his second basket of the night. So it's the visitors now. Four-point game. That's about reading the floor. Hits his man right where he wanted it. For Washington, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Picked him clean. Leonard with no one around. No good from outside. To the left side wing. Passes it to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. I love the attacking mentality right there of DeAndre Aiton. Nice drive. Left side, Leonard, and that one ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right, and wasn't the timing ideal? My goodness, the D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Here's Kemp. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. And they're pushing it up. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Aiton. Do you uh, remember, Greg, if you watched the standings very much when you played? You know, we were always aware of it, uh, and a lot of that had to do with the goals. I, mean, I remember early in my career playing for the Knicks, you know, we were trying to win championships, and we talked a lot about home court and having that in come postseason time. So you were absolutely aware of where you were because of the goals you set, but I think that also changes depending on who you are as a team. Oh, oh what a dunk! God. Look Ooh. out below! Woo. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. Here's Tyler. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. And so he hits both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Outside, Kemp. He kicks it to Johnson. Kemp inside. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Miracle man, the pass to Tyler. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Right side, Kemp. Five to shoot. Off 
the left rim and out. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Stolen. Pass to Hero. On the wing, Johnson. Shot clock at six. Oh, that's blocked. And here's the break. Moving it up. From past the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. Man's got seven points. Oh, great ball movement there. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. It's always a good thing when the defense is scrambling. Whenever there was open space on the perimeter, their shooters were able to locate it. Both teams making some changes here. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And there's the pass to Kemp. Up top, Wagner. An 11-point game for him in the win against the Rockets in Houston. Well, in addition to the scoring, he found ways to initiate contact from the defense and get himself to the line. The defense clearly frustrated trying to get a way to stop him. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. One fifty-two left to play in the first gotten six or seven shots to fall in the first quarter they're off and running and that'll be two free throws coming up officials on the call with the foul first one falls for him. both shots good from the stripe and doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing. Outside Kemp. 136 left here in the opening quarter. And it's blocked. They recover. Ingram. And can't hit the shot. But they're saying he got hacked, so he'll head to the free throw line. Yeah, easy call. The Wizards shooting their first free throws of the game right now. Old free throws, good for Ingram. On one or two from long range in the first quarter. And that one is stuffed right through. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Rob. Here's the break. Powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Here's Wagner. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. And they'll keep possession. Kemp with the bucket. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. The professor passes to ABC. Here's money. That one doesn't go. Now the Wizards take it the other way. Yeah, this is a great rivalry, guys. I mean, even though they're in opposite conferences, you look back and these teams have a lot of history. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Wizards trail by nine. To the inside, Gary plays it up and banks it in. Thunder's got his third bucket of the night. 
and you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. The Wizards have gone two for two in the game at the line. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Free throw good, Murray. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's ABC. No good with the layup. And so it's the visiting team in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of the points coming right at the rim. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second. Oh! Yeah. Goodness. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Baby, it is showtime. Pass to Vassell. Now Murray. The Wizards working the ball around now. And that one's good, Wagner. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. And the shot is good. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their pass. Wizards trail by eight. And we play just over a minute of basketball here on the... Second quarter, first trip to the line for him here. <laughs> Did he lay an egg at the stripe in their previous game? Couldn't get anything to drop. Washington making some changes. Aiton, he's checked in for Kemp. Bird comes in for Ingram, and it's Johnson in for Murray. Gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Oh! You got to be kidding! My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Here's Johnson back to Aiton. Count the bucket, and he... got a free throw coming up as well well you love the focus from a young big man deandre ayton the hoop and the harm there nicely done the wizards making a switch here heroes checked in free throw drops for ayton greg 11 years for you in the nba you had to have some favorite players that you played besides you with you know it's a great call and, and there were a ton of them a few guys, though, will so Gary Payton, I got a, a chance to play with Gary for a year and have known him. We, we, we used to go at it in high school, and, and it's really about his personality. This is a guy that constant chatter, practice on the court. That's what fed his confidence. Charles Oakley, another guy, he, he would run through a wall or through you to win a game. And then Scotty Pippen later in my career, just a winner and somebody who I competed against for many years but didn't have any opportunity opportunity to play with up close uh, I got a, a greater appreciation for his skill set now here's Johnson he's covered closely and Cowboy is going to pick up the foul 
That is his first foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. On defense, the visitors. They've led by as many as 11 points. On the high post. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, and in every generation or so, a player comes along who can be considered a true superstar. Folks, that's Larry Bird. Bird hits them both. And hey guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Here's Wilson, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Ooh, you gotta love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Here's Johnson. It's blocked, and he gets it back. They grab their own miss, so the wing on the left. Bird right side. Outside Leonard, down low. Here's the monster. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Washington calls timeout, and as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game. if you're not getting enough to drink. Especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Johnson outside. It's not going to go for him. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Passes it to Vassell. Five on the clock. Wilson grabs the board. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. And that one, good. 
16 points for Miracle Man. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Shot by Johnson, no good. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in the Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Wizards trail by 16. Here's Murray, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. Jack, and he'll go to the line for two. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Free throw, good, Murray. Good on both. Thing has been wild, 76%. That's just unbelievable. It's impressive, the level of domination at both ends and you're seeing the results you know this it's not easy building a lead on the road but this team has been lights out throughout the game not a lot falling for him in this quarter he's got to stay aggressive try to break through see if you can get an easy opportunity wizard shooting 36 percent in the second quarter they really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively here kemp kicks to bird that's it five wow way off on that one Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. One easy looks. Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. Wizards making a switch here. Wagner's checked in. There's 57 seconds left in the first half. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Jumps up. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. And so Murray nails both of them. 43 seconds left in the second quarter. Tyler, and he stuffed it. What a pass to set him up. Uh oh, reversed it home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. And here is Murray. He has six, and that's a foul called on money. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. The first free throw is good. And he makes the first, but misses the second. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just a bit more in sync. And I think because of that, they've gotten the better looks to start this basketball game. Just five to shoot. Bounce pass Perea. Here's Kemp. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. And so it's the visiting team cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be right back after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jeff Smith, checking out the visiting team. 
Kenny, how'd you see it? Boy, it was rough down there in the paint, and they were just dominant, taking it to the rack. But that's what you have to be willing to do. And that's going to do it for us. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the... second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Kemp's gone two for seven from the field. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Jason Kidd. They've got ABC. Rain Man is out there with Thunder. Then there's the professor, and it's money in at the three. And the lights out in this one, 77%. Help that one. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. The Wizards shooting poorly, just 35% so far. Pass to Kemp, and here is Johnson. Back to Kemp, and slam dunk by Kemp. Oh, beautiful setup there. One thing you can say about Kemp, no pass is too high for him to go get. And they pick up two. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Johnson, the pass to Hero. I got yours, I got yours. Johnson surveying the floor. And a lot of contact on... one so he'll shoot two here first trip to the free throw line for him in this one that's good from Johnson and both free throws good for Johnson and for those of you turning in we're about a minute into the second half miracle man the pass to the monster and it's blocked in transition here come the Wizards Can't cash in from close range. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Wizards have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Stolen. Three on three. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. Back to Johnson. Got a hand on it, and they're able to recover. Gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. And that's a finish he'll be bragging about for a while. Oh, <laughs> as he should. Very impressive. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim. Okay. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Johnson's got three assists now in this one. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And no surprise here, right? This guy is not only a gifted player, but he is so smart on the offensive end. Hero passes to Johnson. Now here's Bird. Wizards passing it around. To the paint. And Magic Johnson with the slam. I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this is simply stated been a...
complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Ingram, he's checked in for Washington. Murray comes in for Tyler Hero. Well, being aggressive and assertive, the big man snatching the rebound. Here's Gary, the dish to Tyler. Nifty move, and it's good on the way in. Tyler's got 15. Nice pass there to set that basket up. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for Washington. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Here's Wagner. Seven points in the game. It's tipped. It's tipped. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Murray, the pass to Wagner. Let's it go. Connects, the jumper drops. Nine points in the game so far. Okay, nice job here in the second half. Field goal percentage is way up from what it was at halftime when it was just barely above 30%. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And the first one drops. And so he makes both from the line. We've got 155 left in the third quarter. And Murray, here we go. And that one's good, Wagner. Wagner's got four this quarter. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shots now. Starting to fall. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Murray outside. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Well-placed alley-oop pass into the layup. Yeah, nice silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Up top, Leonard. He's defended by Wagner. And a long wind-up and strong follow-through on the one-hand jam. Yeah, he's not going to mess that one up. Murray, the pass to Berea. And that one drops. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Here's Leonard. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. Oh, how about using the rim to get some true hang time? You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. Marie finds Ingram. Kemp with it. There's 38 seconds left in the third. Clock at six. The pass to Ingram. Leonard with the steal. Here's the break. Here's Tyler. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Outside Kemp. Back to Murray. Out to Ingram. Lots of room. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fifth assist in this one. It's stolen by Berea. Fast break, here we go. Here's Kemp, and it's blocked. And so it's the visiting team. Ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. It seems like nothing they do can go wrong as they string together one successful possession after another and are simply running away with this one. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love
love the unselfish play. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four, they've got Leiden, and it's Vassell in at the small forward. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. And that one is good. Yeah, surprised he doesn't have more shot attempts. He's been accurate. You'd think he'd want to take control now with them behind. Here's Miracle Man, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Number one, two shots. The first one falls, and Washington going with a whole new group here. He's perfect from the line this time. Reggie, we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself, do you agree with that statement? Absolutely, Kevin. And, and the thing is, in today's game, when I played, there was an era, you know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you could go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 points. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches of two and three minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, you're right. It, the offense does dictate far more, uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And it, if you still look at the, the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently, that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive approach. Here's Miracle Man, banked in off the glass. Miracle Man's got 10 points in just the second half. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive, really steady from the field. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Throws it up high. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Knocked loose. And the Miracle Man is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Pass to Johnson. To the middle. Here's Hero. Got a piece of it. And here they come. Good. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. And again, Washington, no good. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. The rebound by Johnson. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Washington Wizards. Hero, no good. Inside. It's picked off. Here's Vassell. That one goes in. Vassell's got four this quarter. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Boy, what else is new? This guy's accuracy this quarter has been phenomenal. For Washington, they've gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Hero passes to Johnson. Here's Hero. He's covered by Leonard. Offensive rebound. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Oh, he's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Johnson outside. The feed to Bird. Deflects the pass. Pass to Bissell. It's deflected. Here's Miracle Man. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. 
and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. And the Miracle Man is going to pick up the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Biden's checked in for Tyler Hero. Ayton kicks to Johnson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And that one falls for Johnson. Both good from the line that time. Gone seven of nine from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. It's rebounded by Johnson. Washington's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Wizards making a switch here. Perea's checked in. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And that one falls for Brand. And he can't hit the second. They can't really afford to leave points at the line right now. He would have loved to cash in on each of those free throws and trim the lead even more. Here's the monster. A second chance effort. No good that time. And the Wizards now going the other way. And the foul on the monster. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And then hitting almost everything here in the fourth, up around 58% from the field. Oh, and how about squeezing the orange as tight as he could there before the stuff? Yeah, no way he's going to lose that thing on the way up. And now we've got the intentional foul. That's his second. And that one falls for Brand. Brand. And so Brand nails both of them. Gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority. Oh! Look out. I mean, that's a rugged play. That's straight toughness. Oh! Whoa, just climbing the ladder for that 360. Stupendous hop. Yeah, Greg, he was sky high, high, I'm at finish and so now a timeout called by Jason Kidd and now we present our new balance player of the game miracle man and what an amazing ball game we've seen from him it's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself there wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And that's now 37 points for Miracle Man. Oh, yeah, you have to make greater effort than that defensively. You, you know what he can do from range. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. He hits both from the strike. Gone three or four from long range in the game. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Beautiful Ooh. reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. And an intentional foul right there. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And both free throws good for Berea. Being an almost unfair 78% from the field. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. And that's an intentional foul. And that one falls for Brand. And so Brand nails both of them. 111 left in the fourth quarter. And guys, it doesn't matter who you're rooting for. You've got to appreciate a reverse jam like that. Greg, those kinds of dunks are how reputations are built. Yes. Yeah, the, the good news, though, is they've already got the win wrapped up. You might as well sit back and enjoy this one. The professors checked in for Tyler. And both free throws good for Berea. We've got 108 left here in the fourth quarter. Got a hand on it, and he recovers it. Outside Wilson. 
The shot, no good. And the Wizards now going the other way. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. And I couldn't agree more. What makes it that much more impressive, they're doing it on the road. Yes, that goes in. Outstanding pass on time and on target. To the inside, the monster. The rebound by Leiden. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And he knocks down the first one. ABC's checked in for the professor. And so now a timeout called by Jason Kidd. Timeout called. So he picks up just one from the line that time. From downtown, the monster, great positioning on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Washington with the ball, and so they foul intentionally. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Berea. Here's Miracle Man, covered by Brand. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you just... Love to see this from your team every single night. And he makes the first. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 26 seconds left to play in the final quarter. The rebound by Leiden. And so it's Berea with it. They'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. And they go to the intentional foul. And the first one at the line is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Leonard. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. How about that one, able to maintain control and finish the play? Here's Vassell, and so they foul intentionally. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And that one's good, Leonard. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his third position foul. Shooting for Washington. Brand. Taking two shots. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. Eight seconds left in the fourth. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The first one falls. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Five seconds left in the game. And now we've got the intentional foul. That's his fourth personal foul. At the line for your wizard. 
shooters. The first free throw is good. Two shots. And so Brand nails both of them. Leonard inside. Off the inbound, no good. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise. To